Hi there guys, in today's video of Flexi Starter, we're going to be looking at the cut and plot feature. But before that, let's have a quick intro first. So today's video can be found on softwaretraining.co.za. We make short and easy to watch problem solving videos and we also have daily updates. So it's back in the program here. So now, um, like I mentioned, we're going to be looking at the cut and plot uh, feature, but it's also going to be a mini series. So just keep an eye on the description um, so that uh, you guys can follow along. Now today's video, as you can see, is just going to be an overview. So we're just going to quickly run through where to locate it and so forth. And then in the future videos, we're going to start breaking it into more depth. Or should I say going into more depth about each feature and option under the cut and plot um, feature. But uh, yeah, to start, we can. Uh, there's two main ways we can locate it. So first of all, you want to go to on your standard toolbar next to the print icon. You'll see that little one. It almost looks like a cookie's tip, but it's actually a cutting blade. If you hover, you can see it says cut dash blot, and the uh, um, shortcut for that is Control L. You can also go under your file, and then you navigate down until you find cut and plot same shortcut we click this it's going to give us an option for um the type of project we want to be cutting or plotting or at least it should let's just um let's see if we can do that again i'm just going to close here here we go this is the normal uh, pop-up that will be presented as you can see we've got a few options here we've got on this machine or on this computer local we've got on another computer network so this is if you have a net to, uh, multiple computers set out on your network and then we've got on the internet and this address so for most of our stuff we'll just be working with it on this computer local so we'll be using the current machine you're using and we say okay it's going to open the um, project manager and also this cut and plot uh, project manager is kind of you can just um see which kind of jobs are going which projects it wants to print and so forth we'll try to cover this in another series but for now i'm just going to minimize that so now in the current kind of plot feature as you can see here we've got a lot of options just under the first tab and if you had to look here you'll see we've got four tabs so we've got the general we've got a panel we've got options and then we've got advanced and under each one of these tabs, as you can see, we've got a variety of different things we can change. And then um, we also have this top little feature here, which is, uh, as you can see, it's, see, it stays the same depending, ugh, no matter which tab you're on. So that is a feature of its own. And then on the far right, we've got the preview. And as you can see, it kind of changes depending on which um, option you are on. But in general, most of these things are kind of um, the same. We've got some buttons for it at the bottom as well, so we can change that. Then, um, yeah, obviously, once you've set up all these things, you would normally just click send to have your cutting and that started. But yeah, so like I mentioned, this is just an overview. Uh, in the future videos, we're going to be going through all these um, different settings to see what do they do and how to use them. But otherwise, if we head here to softwaretraining.co.za, you guys will notice we've got a variety of different um, softwares we do cover. And also, you can isolate your search on the top right. But um, if for some reason you didn't find the videos you're looking for, you just go here, request a training video, then we'll make that video for you. But otherwise, thanks guys for watching, and cheers.